Hey guys, it's Shy, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is finally a new year. Um, I am vlogging again. I'm filming right now. I have no idea what video is going to go up first, but cheers to a new year, people. Oh my God. I'm very excited for a new year. I needed a new year. 2019 was a mess. Um, and I'm excited and hopeful. So we are just going to dive in. We are going to play. I don't think this is going to be any too crazy of a makeup look. Um, I'm getting ready to go into work in a little bit. Um, I'm wearing these really dope shoes though. Uh, they're actually the color of this eyeshadow, um, but a little bit more purpley. And originally I was thinking, I was like, oh, maybe I'll do something cool to like match it. But then I remembered like the last time I put one of these shades like under my eyes or in my inner corner, I looked like I had pink eye or something wrong with me. So I'm just not gonna do that anymore. We're gonna do like a neutral look, um, maybe some nice liner some nice lashes and we're gonna call it good. So I've already primed myself with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It takes a while to set, so I figured I would just do that off camera and save us the headache. I think for foundation today, I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl True Blend. So it appears to be like the best match for me right now, so fingers crossed. And I'm using just this little sponge from InStylish. I really, really like this sponge so, so much. And we're just gonna pounce this all in. And we're back, so it's definitely, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a little bit more fair than my skin. I like the self-tan struggle, man. Um, so I'm just gonna do just a little bit of concealer to make sure that it doesn't brighten too much because we have to go in with a heavier bronzer just to balance it out, which is fine. Um, but just a little bit of brightening towards the center of the face and just pouncing it in. And of course, now setting with my CoverGirl True Blend Translucent Powder. This is in the shade one. It's gonna just add to the brightness in the center of the face. So I just finished setting and then I did my brows off camera because it's literally the same brow routine in literally every single video. So I just didn't wanna bore you with that. I think I'm gonna go in with my little Tartlet in Bloom palette. I recently rediscovered this and I'm in love. I've been really just into cool tone shadows. If you guys have any cool tone shadow palettes that you thoroughly enjoy, please let me know. Um, I'm gonna first just take Flower Child all over the lid to just set the space. Um, but it is so hard to find really good cool tone palettes. Um, and like truly cool toned, like, and I don't want like a gray palette. I want a neutral cool toned palette. So if you guys know of any, please, please, please let me know. Um, it can be UK, United States, I don't really care. I don't mind um, paying for shipping. You guys know that I shop with at Makeup Revolution and Beauty Bay online all the time. So like that doesn't bother me either. I just want a good cool tone palette, damn it. And one with like a good variation. Like this is great because you can really deepen it up in different things like some cool tone palettes. I'm just like, it's like 12 shades of taupe that are barely darker than the other one. And like, what are we doing here? So first, I am going to take this little brush. This is my AOA Studios E128, and I'm gonna dip into some Marty pants, and I'm just gonna start buffing this into the crease area. Again, we're just gonna do something, probably a simple little look with some winged liner today. Um, that just buffs so, so beautifully. I've had this palette, oh my God, for so long. And I am thoroughly shocked that I have not hit pan on anything because I used to use it every day and now I'm reusing it every day again. And I really, really enjoy it. Um, I'm gonna use the same little brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade Rebel um, to just deepen it a little bit. And I'm gonna use a very light hand here because I want it deepened but not too, too much because again, I am gonna go in with a liner. So see how we have that little bit of gradient but it's still very soft? That's what I'm really just looking for right now. And then I am going to take, of course, my little PC 22 Peaches and Cream brush. Um, if you guys have not tried these brushes yet, I really recommend them, especially if you do any type of detailing work um, or just need like really good smaller brushes. They are just, some of the best um and you can get them in like a little bundle where i think you get three brushes three pigments and like two lip glosses or something on their website but i really really like them um they are uk based i believe but so worth it um so now i'm going to dip into sweetheart and i'm going to buff this under the eye 
And then I am going to dip back into Rebel and just buff it on the outer corner just so that it's going to blend nicely with the gradient that's happening over here. That's it for the eyeshadow portion. Very simple. For a liner today, I am going to be going in with the NYX Epic Ink Liner. If you're looking for a good dupe for the Kat Von D, it is a very similar brush. I actually found an old Kat Von D one so I can show you guys. Like, It's like the same thing because um, I know a lot of people um, don't use or support Kat Von D Beauty anymore. Um, so if you are looking for a good dupe, that would be a good one, just a heads up. Um, and if you do or don't support her, I don't care. Regardless, it just if you need a good liner, here you go. Um, so I like to first start on my inner corner and sweeping it all the way across. So that way I know like how far in it's gonna go. And then I'm gonna start, let's see. Like, it's just so easy with this. Boom, now on to the other eye. Now let's move on to lashes. I am gonna do an Ardell Wispy. I am going in with some Duo Glue. I really like the Duo Paint On Glue. I don't I don't know why, it's just, it's easy. It pick, you can pick it up at the drugstore and it works for me. So just giving that a little wave and while it gets tacky I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Lash Paradise and get these lashes coated and ready. I like to give my lashes a little bling to make sure that they're really coated from root to tip with the mascara too. It's one of my little tricks and it also lifts them without having to use a lash curler. Ardell Wispies are just freaking everything. Um, so we're just gonna chit chat while I contour because I'm using the same contouring product from TJ Maxx that I've been using all year long. So it is what it is. Um, but how was everyone's new year? Um, mine was great. I made some Gardein chicken strips and tater tots with applesauce for dinner. Um, I was craving like kind of like junk food-esque so I was like oh this will be perfect so I have some chicken strips um for those of you who don't know Gardein is a uh, vegan so they're vegan it's not like real chicken but um it's what I do um and then I went to Target and I bought myself a new comforter because I've been really wanting just like a beautiful white comforter and you guys will see that in a vlog coming up um but I was just really wanting just like newness and then I literally binge watched old Bailey Sarian murder mystery makeup Monday videos um she's literally one of my favorite youtubers um if you guys are interested in murder mysteries um or even just makeup she's a good person to watch uh she a uh, it's just really really good I love her I, like she always comes up with the best color co combinations as well um it just looks so good. I love her makeup. Um, I love listening to the murder mystery stories. Like, I love that. Um, like, I just, she's so good. So if you guys are interested and haven't heard of her, I highly recommend her channel. Um, and yeah, going in just with a little bit of nose contour. But I fell asleep quite early. I was actually really bummed because, um, BTS was performing on one of the New Year's Eve countdowns on TV at the New York one and I had it on like kind of in the background but I had it muted because I was watching my murder mystery makeup on Mondays and um yeah I got really into one of the ones that she was talking about and then I completely missed it and I was on the wrong channel anyway so it was great um but it was okay I just, uh, I like went on Twitter and like there were a couple snippets and I was like, okay, cool. Can pretend that I watched it and now I can go to bed and move on with my life. Um, but I woke up so well rested and feeling fabulous. I am not a drinker anyway. I really only will have like a drink or two if I go out with friends and that's like very rare. Um, luckily most of my friends aren't drinkers either. Like the main person I hang out with that I don't even see that often, uh, my friend Lily, like, we just go get food and don't really order drinks or, like, we'll order, like, a beer if we go to, like, Buffalo Wild Wings with everybody, but it's nice. Um, 
not that it's a shame if you drink that I'm just that's just me personally I don't um, I just like waking up feeling good and when I drink because I don't normally drink um, it just makes me not feel that great so tis why um, so just making sure that all of this is just blending in nicely I'm just going in with my Fenty bronzer really really like this one Eventually though, I'm gonna just have to like, you know what, let me just do it now before I forget. I'm gonna just put some duo lash glue on the inside of here and like re-glue this back in. So I'm so over it falling out constantly. So just pushing that in there and I'm gonna close it and hopefully that'll work. We'll see, it might not. Um, for blush, I'm gonna go in with my Burt's Bees blush, I think. Really like this one, it's one of the peach ones. And just making sure that it's up here so that our face looks nice and lifted. Um, oh my god, so weird. So I, my mom had gotten this little Caudalie gift set, which is a skincare brand. Um, I think she got it at Sephora. So um, she gave it to me just because, I don't know if she bought it for me or just like, she was just like, here, have this. And I was like, heck yeah. Well, I tried it today and my skin started reacting like my under eyes were burning which was so weird so I like instantly took it off right away but has anyone else tried that brand and had a similar reaction I'm just curious like if it was like a specific ingredient maybe it was just the eye cream that my skin didn't like um, but please let me know um, or if you have anything favorite from that brand let me know as well and like how you use it I had tried um, the face spray the radiant serum and the under eye cream and that's kind of when my skin was just like absolutely the fuck not and we had to take it off I used like my micellar water to take it off um so moving right along I am looking on my desk from there it is I'm going with my little Dior uh backstage glow um I'm gonna use these sh this shade right here which is like a cooler toned shade to highlight today. And I am just looking for a little highlighting brush. It's my, can't find anything, I swear to God. I organize my desk so often and then it still just gets so unorganized and I'm just like, I can't. Here it is. So I literally use this eyeshadow brush every day to highlight. It's my AOA Studios E127. Just really like the shape of it. And I feel like it just blends everything so nicely. Like, look at how pretty that is, too. Highlight my inner corner. I am going to use an AOA Studios E134 brush. These are just, like, little lip brushes. What is all over my hands? And I am going to dip into that same shade I was using to highlight my face. I'm just going to highlight the inner corner. Just right in here. Just giving it not too much, just, like, enough. So when, you know, light hits it, we're getting a little bit of sparkle in there. I love this Dior palette and I'm kind of excited that we're starting 2019 off with just like a nice everyday little look here. Uh, I know I don't play with color very often on my channel. I'm sorry. It's just I like neutral makeup, you know, and I love the people that can get super creative and do really cool stuff, but I just like my neutral stuff, like just something easy that everyone can wear. Um, for lips today, I'm gonna first start with my Patrick Ta lip liner. This is in the shade She's Full. And just putting this all over. So I'm gonna take some of my Jeffree Star I'm Nude liquid lipstick in the center. And then not going fully on the outer corners, I'm gonna take my finger, just kind of pounce that in just so we get that really nice little gradient there. It helps your lips just look a little bit more pouty. Um, I've been wanting to get a little bit of filler, like half syringe in my top lip, so I might do that this year. Uh, I don't think anyone needs cosmetic procedures, but if you want to, I think do you. It's kind of my outlook on it. Um, it's just so they would be like not a little bit more plump on their own. That's really all I want. But I am for sure going to be doing Botox this year because um, if you're new to my channel, I suffer from really severe migraines that are like debilitating sometimes. Um, I've kind of learned to just live with them at this point. Uh, but I heard that that helps. So uh, for me, I am at the point where I would like to try anything 
to have a better state of life. So we're gonna try that and I am gonna go to a place that a lot of my friends go to and people that I know, so that's exciting. Um, but that I'm probably gonna do end of January. I just have so much going on with work right now that I'm gonna wait until I actually have time to like, you know, take a couple days off in case, I don't know, like can you get a weird reaction from it? I don't know. So I'm just gonna wait, but I'm like, lo very looking forward to that and it possibly helping the migraine situation. Um, and I know you can go through your insurance to also cover that, like some insurances cover that. I'm just gonna pay out of pocket. Um, I have a brand new insurance this year and like there's a lot you have to go through to get to that point where they'll pay for it normally. So I'm just like, I don't really wanna deal with it. Um, so I'm saving up for that. Botox is relatively cheap, thank God. Um, I'm gonna top this little lip moment with this Glossier lip gloss. This is the holographic one. It's not actually like hollow or anything like that, but it does have a really beautiful sparkle to it. And I think it'll pair really nicely with this look. And last but not least, it is time to set. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And here is the finished look, guys. Um, I thoroughly enjoy the way that it turned out. I think it's really great and you could wear it really every day and that's really what I wanted to do today is just something that is like a simple glam, you could do every day. Um, and even if you didn't do the liner and lashes, like just the way that we did the shadow with some mascara, you would also be good to go. So cheers to a new year, guys. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up on your way out. And don't forget to leave a comment below. It does help us so, so much when you guys thumbs up and comment, um, especially as small YouTubers. So I greatly appreciate it, guys. But thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.